So we can all remember uh, to be a little bit kinder to one another. That's... There's just a lack of respect for others these days and like no sense of community. I walk down the street and nobody even smiles at me. Well, nobody even notices me anymore. Why can't we value each individual the same? People are so focused on themselves, they always put themselves first. The great thing about giving is it's the opposite of receiving. and It's uh, not something you see very often anymore. It's kind of sad because people don't expect other people to be kind to them sometimes. For a long time I was in a bit of a rut. I was doing the counseling approach that was from the textbook and I was getting a little bit bored in my job. My name is Harriet Chang and I'm a counselor and a school teacher. And one of the stories that I turned to was a story about um, random acts of kindness. I thought it was great that you could do something nice for someone else and you didn't want anything in return. Everybody started just think, like saying ideas about maybe we can spread it around Canada, or just British Columbia, or Tri-Cities and everything like that. So they wrote letters to like the three mayors and like the MLA and it just like flew from there. A proclamation was passed by Mayor Scott Young. That was a request of the kids. They wanted to have a special Random Acts of Kindness Week in February for all of Port Coquitlam. So the next year we started a rock club. And we call it Rack Rocks now, and that stands for Random Acts of Kindness. And then the, RA the ROCKS acronym is Reaching Out to the Community Through Kindness in Schools. And we started doing very nice things for other people. And they were, they were so idealistic and optimistic, and it was really contagious. And I just wasn't going to stop that, so I encouraged them to go as far as they possibly could. The RAC Club is going to change the world because I believe that a big difference can be made through small steps. We gave Thank out very much. cookies, handing out coffee or hot chocolate. Here to give you a free coffee. Why, well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. It feels good to give, doesn't it? Yes. When we come to the seniors, they feel really happy because some, they know somebody cares about them. There have been lots of activities that the kids have done, and the reactions from the people in the community has been they've been really excited. Raking someone's leaves, shoveling someone's driveway. If there's several new kids in my class, I try to hang out with them for like recess and get to know them better. One of the ladies wanted to pay us for it and then when we said no, she just she just like brightened and she said thank you and she walked away and that felt really, really good. The students have won a number of awards. The most recent one they won they won was a Newsmaker of the Year Award and that was sponsored by the Tri-City Chamber of Random Commerce. Act of kindness. So it's not just our little community anymore. It's really gone beyond the walls of that. We've had emails and phone calls from all over BC. People saying, what are you doing? And how do you do it? And what a great idea. There are also groups all over BC, different people who are um, very inspired by these kids. It's not just that we do it for someone else. They do it also for you. Smiling, opening the door for someone, You're just saying hi to someone who's walking. Hi, ladies, happy Wednesday. How's your day going? It makes me feel really happy when I do a rack for somebody else. It makes me feel like I just want to pass it on to like a million people. Yeah. I see myself as doing rack as much as possible, going as far as I can. When you start to be able to give things instead of just receiving, that's when you feel the spirit of things and you feel how good it feels inside your bones to, to be able to make somebody else's day and make them happy. Like every single day, there should be like a random acts of kindness every single moment in time. You guys are doing something very good and uh, I wish you continue. So thank you for bringing them around. I think these kids have changed my life. It's so exciting because we're working with kids who are our future.